like it's a great kind of like opportunity for an actor to to dive into like a part like this where kind of so much is riding on your shoulders. Passing so 100%. I knew I, I he was in my wish list to direct and I knew I wanted to work with him. As an actor, whenever you start a new film, you start at zero. Like it doesn't matter if people like you in your last film if you if you're complacent <laughs> and things go wrong, you can you can be terrible. Not taking pressure is the only way to give it your all. Not taking pressure is the only way where you're fully honest to your self. Your There's a lot of kind of sacrifice that you have to make to kind of be on this this road in a way where you know you do kind of say no to a lot of things where potentially it can kind of lead to superstar and more overnight. Firstly, a huge congratulations for Spotlight. I watched it and I feel like our generation really needed this show. I really like the authenticity that both of you brought into it. And having known the original story, I was really looking forward to see the retelling part of it. And trust me, it's so apt and relevant. Harshvardhan and Akanksha, both of you are a part of a significant change in storytelling, and we are so happy to have you at E Times today. That is so kind. Thank, Thank you for the, the wonderful uh, intro. Uh, yeah, yeah so <laughs> I feel like crying. Thank you. <laughs> I want to know from each of you what made you guys say an absolute yes to the show, and what was the most fun part shooting it. So I'm not very well versed in Satyajit Ray's stories. So yeah. um, for me, the instant jump was uh, to work with Vasan sir again. Uh, I mean, to work with Vasan sir, and of course Netflix again, and also to leave my house in the peak of quarantine just to do yeah. some work. But of course, it was Vasan sir, one hundred percent. I knew I, I he was in my wish list of directors, and I knew I wanted to work with him. So definitely, yeah. that was the selling point for me. The funnest mm. experience you said on set, yeah. I think there was a day break. We had one day off. Gahash, when you guys were being ticket, so we were in yeah, this that was it. fancy hotel, which was pretty rundown to be honest, but was really palatial. Uh, anyway, so the outdoor was we, we all have just sat outdoor, ordered the uh, club sandwiches, had a diet coke, and then these guys were playing ticket, and uh, yeah. we were lying down on the pool side. I think that was mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Harsh? Yeah, I mean, I think that this is this is the most fun I've ever had on a film set, and uh, you know, I think it's important to kind of remember that these are these are films that are inspired by short stories of of Ray. So essentially, the idea is that the the makers of these films take these stories and make them their own, you know, uh, as opposed yeah. to uh, uh, being uh, literal uh, word to word adaptations of the original source material, uh, etc. Uh, you know, and I think Vasan sir has managed to do that fantastically with Spotlight. His stamp is all over it, uh, and mm -hmm. he's really coloured it with his personality. Uh, and yeah. we had a blast. It was a very, very hectic shoot because we shot the entire film in ten days. Um, mm -hmm. And you know what you end up seeing is a sixty-two minute film, but we actually had a, a longer seventy, seventy-five minute cut as well. So technically, we ended up making a feature film. Uh, you know, a one hour fifteen yeah. minute feature film in ten days. That eventually yeah. became an hour to two minute in the final edit, but mm -hmm. uh, we had that material, you know, and we shot long hours, but it was just so much fun that we wanted to keep going, and uh, mm -hmm. it was just the best. Like you, you want to work with great people, you want to have a good time, you want to be comfortable, and I think this film was all of those things. And I think after this film and my last film, AK vs AK, where the experience was so much fun, mm -hmm. now I'm always like looking to to that as the bar, you know, and. Uh, 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 and I'm very insecure that you know, am I going to work with such great people? Am I always going to get the chance to work with such great uh, makers? Or you know, mm. uh, how is it going to be? You know, so um, I think we've been very, very lucky, very, very lucky so far. So you know, since it's an inspired story, the movie had to do justice to the original story too. As actors, what were the challenges in approaching the creative process of the screenplay, starting with Akanksha? That's one thing I've repeated. That so made it amply clear that we don't have to have any pressure on us. We don't have mm -hmm. to try to recreate per se and you know match up to any milestone, any kind of level. We have to bring mm -hmm. our core and our personalities and our interpretation of what we did mm -hmm. in that particular script, the one that was given to us, not the original short yeah. story. Like I said, it's a it's loosely an, an adaptation, right? Like inspired, more like. So uh, yeah, yeah. So I feel that that entire pressure of trying to perfect it or trying to reach that particular mark wasn't there on us deliberately by the you know Vasan sir, where we had to play with it and have fun with it and try to bring the best of our abilities together to kind of make our own little spotlight. And I guess that's what we've all tried to do. Yeah, no, I think it was a uh, uh, 
uh, huge responsibility on my shoulders because you know this this character is literally in every frame of this film you know there's not a moment yeah. that where he's kind of not there and uh it's mm-hmm. an hour long uh you know just like it's a great i think it's a great kind of like opportunity for an actor to to dive into like a part like this where kind so much is riding on your shoulders because it really pushes you to better yourself and do better so uh, yeah. i think i had to really prepare for it a lot as you know there's a lot of drama but there's also like tons of humor there's uh, yeah. uh, you know there's a lot of darkness but there's also a lot of light uh you know there's mm-hmm. uh, he, and i think vikram is different with robby he's different with anuya he's different with his mother he's he's there, there's many versions of of vik and um yeah man it, yeah. it was just a great a uh, great opportunity great experience and the pre- the preparation of it made me a better actor and i think that the uh, the 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 process of it with vasan also definitely made me better but i think as an actor whenever you start a new film you start at zero like it doesn't matter if people like you in your last film if you if you're complacent and things go wrong you can you can be terrible you know so you have to always my father always reminds me of that he says that just because people like you in your last performance your last two performances is no guarantee that they're going to like you in your next um to mm-hmm. so enjoy it while it lasts but work really hard to make sure that you do everything you can to be convincing mm-hmm. in 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 your future films and sometimes that also might not be enough you know uh yeah. so uh, you have to kind of stay keep on your toes and uh, count your blessings when things work out you know and i think in a situation like spotlight the, i and i hope people like the film but the experience was great akanksha both of your projects have allowed you to portray strong significant women with impactful screen presence like i don't want to give away spoilers from this show but there was a scene in the film metaphorically speaking when you hold the mirror for vikram when he comes to terms with reality being yeah. a part of ray was there a sort of pressure or expectation since your performance in beauty was a ray no like i said i didn't take any pressure and nothing so didn't give me any pressure <clears throat> uh, metaphorically and even um even otherwise i think anuya's character was a mirror to vic and she kind of was the um reality check before he got the reality check right so that was a little thing yeah. that we had seen you saw so um i guess i knew that's what i needed to portray i guess i knew i was his voice of reason and i was someone who shows him the mirror and i i, I knew that's what i needed to achieve in that scene and that's what i took it uh, i didn't take any pressure of the outcome of it i just knew that this is their relationship and this is what she do because this is she knows him right and uh, so because she loves him and even the dialogue that's in the trailer where she says to jackie it was not it was not a diss it was an explain she was trying to see, reach explain to him that before life dooms you let me yeah. give you a mirror you know so not really if it came out powerful like i'm great i'm i'm grateful but i just had to go with what was kind of briefed to me because you were totally superb in spotlight to be honest thank you so and much and i really like your dressing and your style like everything about you was so good thank you that means so much to me <laughs> so harsh vardhan it's really good to see the body of work the choices that you have made in terms of choosing scripts and films unconventional art is something our generation really looks out for and in order to maintain that individuality are you reflecting a lot of things coming in your way and being choosy about scripts uh first of all thank you very much uh, i think that what you said is very important to me really you know i think if if people like you don't uh you know it's very important for you for 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 me to hear that so that i can keep going and doing what i'm doing uh you know so i look to people like yourself uh, for that motivation and inspiration and i um mm-hmm. well i i i you know it's i i mean i obviously i have kind of turned down some things as uh, as well um uh, but uh i think there's a lot of kind of sacrifice that you have to make to kind of be on this this road in a way where you know you do kind of say no to a lot of things where potentially it can kind of lead to superstar mode overnight you know uh yeah but i think for me i i i trying to hold on to being a purist as much as possible uh uh you know and just really trying to do the work that inspires me and i i'm not trying to make like a big social statement or political st- i just want to do films that are cool for like young people and pop culture you know uh, um so and i think that that's a really really big part of like uh, uh, progression and culture you know like even in the west every film that you have to do doesn't have to be like a social commentary sometimes things are just cool and fun you know and they define the next generation of cool what cool is 
uh, you know, like we saw Dil Chata in 2001, and we were inspired by it for so many years. At that time, that was cool, mm-hmm. and it's still cool. You know, mm-hmm. so I hope, I hope, ten, fifteen, twenty years from now, somebody watches Spotlight or Bhavesh Joshi or AK versus AK or Mirzia and be like, "Wow, man! You know, that film was made in two thousand and sixteen, two thousand and eighteen, two thousand and twenty. That's so cool. It it still it still holds up. It still works. You know. Yeah. And I I think that that is that is that's so much more powerful than than having a great weekend at the box office and then people not remembering any you know what you did. Um, having said that, I also do crave more popularity. you know i'm a human being uh mm-hmm. but i crave popularity and stardom for different reasons you know uh, yes the financial gain and all of that is great uh, but that's never been my priority for me if i get more popularity and stardom i will use that to liberate filmmakers like the ones that i've obviously you know worked with and younger filmmakers that have different ideas that otherwise wouldn't get to make those films uh mm-hmm. you know so so i i i kept telling vasan and shayantan as well on spotlight is you know i don't only want to be an option for you when you're making a 5 crore film i also want to be an option for you when you're making a 15 or 100 crore film uh you know so if if i get stardom i will use it to to do films like like that at a on a bigger scale you know because ultimately it is a business so coming back to spotlight again you know our audience is very varied accepting but at the same time very emotional when it comes to cinema and when you are retelling a story and putting it out are you worried about the perceptions of the critics in that sense given the fact that it's the work of the legendary satyajit ray i think um being afraid of critics and reviews um i think before we start acting uh, i think all our coaches teachers <laughs> people in our family have told us to i mean take everything with a pinch of salt uh, praises and insults alike um this pressure i did realize after the trailer came out when i you know would see comments and like oh my god such a gg they better not mess this up and i'm like oh because uh, like i've said before i was not very well versed with such such a gg three till i got mm-hmm. this call uh, from you know netflix etc and then i started you know reading up etc so uh, when i did the trailer came out i was like oh okay hmm uh, we better not do this up so of course there's a pressure there's always a pressure in any whatever work you do you want to you want to be like what we are doing here is to be like uh you know we want the appreciation from the viewers but at the same time i think not taking pressure is the only way to give it your all not taking pressure is the only way where you are fully honest to yourself and your craft and your art you know so that's how we've made the movie making process and hopefully mm. if it speaks to the audience and um i guess we won't piss a lot of people off or i guess we will mm-hmm. anyway harsh won't we I think we will. No, I think I think Vasan sir answered this wonderfully. Is like, I I think we can't be bogged down by the pressure of what it is, and like like I said, it's not a remake or an adaptation. It's inspired loosely by a short story, yeah. you know. And I think that's what the great Satyajit Ray would have wanted. Is he would have wanted filmmakers to be inspired by his work, but then ultimately kind of have their own voice, uh, you mm-hmm. know, kind of like shine through. uh you know um so i think that's what vasan is is chosen to do and has done successfully and i think people have to kind of go into it like see like don't question don't question it you know just go with the experience of it you know don't question the logic yeah. of it don't question what it stands for go with the experience of it and just enjoy yourself you know and i think we're living in a time where we really need to enjoy ourselves we need to kind of break away from everything that's going on in the news and the tragedy around us and just have a fun good like time yeah. you know and i think spotlight makes some really really interesting and relevant points about society uh, and it's very topical but it's all done in a very very quirky and entertaining way which is i think the most difficult thing to do you know i see a lot of films that are very very heavy handed in in terms of the points that they're trying to make and yeah. you know uh, kind of self righteous but this is very much the opposite of that i think so thank you so much for doing this with me and for taking out time i really look forward to see you both on the screen more and just keep shining i'm in love with what you did out there in spotlight i just hope you guys get all the spotlight that's it or kuch thank you <laughs> thank, thank you, you so much